just relationships between you and the students. It's how you build relationships between the students. But here's my point, and it's the, the heart of collective advocacy in the staff room or the classroom. We do that for a reason, not because it's necessarily good in itself. Mm. And the reason we do it is because we build trust so kids can say, teachers can say, I am wrong. I don't know. I need help. And that's the biggest essence here. Like by age eight, most kids learn in the classroom. If they don't know, look like they do and hope they don't get picked. Yeah. It socializes them in from very, mistakes are embarrassing, particularly amongst their peers. The heart of collective efficacy is that failure is a learner's best friend, that errors are opportunities. And in a staff room, if I get up and say something and it turns out that I'm wrong, I've got to feel safe yep. to talk. Otherwise, I'm not a learner. And so when you talk about relationships, again, think of them as a bank to be used in these circumstances and ask yourself the question, in the staff room, in this classroom, is it safe to fail? 